Hi traders, Nathan Bray here from ACY Securities. Well, JP Morgan folks, breaking news. They've come out and said it's time to cut stocks, hold your cash and buy some gold. So they're looking at some issues as far as the R word, the recession word, the mild recession that could be coming at the moment in the United States. You've also got some political instability with debt ceiling talks not being finalized. And then if you throw in the fact that the Fed at the moment is coming across very hawkish, all of those issues are looking very negative for the stock markets. But before we go there, let's have a look at gold. So gold at the moment, it's had this triple top. So in our live interactive trading feed with Duncan Cooper here at ACY on Telegram, we looked at this triple top failure, which it has sold off quite significantly. But if this trend is eventually going to continue or potentially retest, okay, or break through and go higher, as JP Morgan is suggesting moving funds now into gold, what level, what sort of pullback might I be looking at as key levels to continue this buying trend and this trend going higher? So first of all, I'm looking at this 1959 major weekly resistance level. It's pretty much where price is now. If that old roof can become a floor, so if that resistance can start to show it's becoming support, then that could look for an interesting opportunity to continue this gold trend higher. Now, if it corrects further, I'm, I'm looking for my favorite level here, which is this 1916 or around this 1920 level of weekly resistance becoming support. Why? Because it coincides with a 62 Fib retracement level, okay, on the weekly chart. And it also happens to be the 2011 gold all time high. So if we could get a pullback to there and it hold, we could therefore look at being a buyer at a lower level, which is what every buyer really wants to do when it comes to gold. Now, let's take a look at the indices. So technically, I'll start on the S&P 500. We have been broadcasting out these levels uh, on our telegram over the last few months. Now it's gone up and retested on the S&P this weekly resistance level around this 4,194 area, and it keeps failing. But if we look at the bigger picture, so let's go from the all time high down to the most recent low, all right? We draw a fib in, we can see it's retraced 50%, okay, from the all time high. If we go, because we're in this downtrend, lower tops and bottoms at the moment on the weekly, and we go to the most recent weekly top, Okay, we've now retraced 79% Fib retracement on that move. So we've got this beautiful confluence of a downtrend on the longer term trend and also confluence at a 50% retracement matching this 79% retracement as well, as well as being weekly resistance folks. And if JP Morgan are starting to trim stocks, all right, and we do have these fundamental issues in the market, that could look like a really interesting spot to look for your trade short setup on the S&P 500. Looking at the Dow quickly to wrap up. So we're looking the same scenario. Let's go all time high down to the most recent low. We're looking at a 79% test on the Dow that's failed. And now it's gone up and retested the 62 and failed, folks. So these stock markets are at prime levels for shorting opportunities. If the fundamentals are weak, then that could be a really interesting level to keep an eye on to enter your trades. That's all from me, folks. Good luck to the global economy and good luck with this debt ceiling.